Hello, Aki Villa here. You are going to like this one. iPad with my Loopy Pro template. So I can switch to instrument page. Okay, now the sound is coming from the iPad microphones. What I want to do is I need to set this up, actually not from the settings, audio MIDI setup. So I need to enable the sound from my iPad to here because it's connected now with directly with USB-C as well as my two terabytes hard drive because I have the base model MacBook Air. Yeah, I can check from the settings now. Sound output is uh, headphone port. That's okay. But sound input. I want to have the iPad connected my Bluetooth. MIDI. To hear it out how it sounds, I need to put the screen recording and the input is now set for iPad. I will start recording. So now I hear the sound from here. I can use different kind of instruments, of course. That's just some volume higher. Iconica sketch. It's what I have in here. Korg module, flow tones, audio layer, sampler, electric wave, wave, Terapro, poison, synth master, nerd synth, beat hawk, ravens of piano. But not only these ones, <laughs> I can also use my effect page, which I created with 10, 10 of effect passes. So if you look, it's huge. Some presets, I can, by changing these dials, I can change the presets of the effect. There can be hundreds of presets on each effect. So think about what the total I can put some simmering. I can check the simmering and put even some uh, reverb. If I add some sounds here, so the effects will be appended to that. I can record this one to the koala now. The sound, for example, I can make it like huge back. I can even add something from here. The touch effects. So then I can, whatever I can do here, I can create drum sounds, I can cre create beats, I can also put all the effects on and off quite quickly. So, so this is not, it makes, it doesn't make any sense this sound, but go to the drum beats, I can of course go to the one shot for example, and I can create some easy beat. different kits. So 
this drum is coming from uh, Lev Grant's one shot. And first, it, I could do it to the Loopy Pro to put it into the audio clip, but I want to record it directly to the Koala. So I can make it that, so that I will use effects in between. Too loud, <laughs> but yeah, think about this system. <laughs> you could, uh, as a sound creation, for example, or you could create loops, grooves, whatever. You can use MIDI inside uh, Loopy Pro and create that and record to Koala. Inside Koala, you could create your own loop, um, like this one. So it gets quite interesting, <laughs> AU with instruments, or even just you could have individual, like for example, Koala. And I can access all the I can choose Koala presets as I'm using this way also to every instrument page I have in here lots of AUV free instruments from use these Koala internal effects too. And I can reset them if I go too crazy. So I'm just touching the surface here, but the, the capabilities to combine this, this setup it's huge, and of course I could do everything I do in here with Loopy Pro, I could do also with uh, Logic Pro, but I will do it in another video.